you know, I had so much benzo-related memory problems. I mean, I, I never thought I was going to get my memory back. I, I was convinced going through taper that uh, I had done permanent damage, and this was the new, the new uh, version of me, you know? And I would always have this joke, you know, uh, error file not found. Because I would have these moments, you know, where I'd be talking to someone, and then just in the middle of my sentence, just the script runs out. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I just was. Super embarrassing. Someone's looking at me bizarre, like, are you okay? And, you know, the last thing you want to do is tell them what you were going through. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going through benzo taper and I have memory problems right now. I don't know if I'm going to get better. I'm freaking out, you know. So you, you kind of get good at either uh, changing the subject or, you know, you, we try to f kind of f ebb and flow our way out of those those uncomfortable and embarrassing situations. But there's a risk there um, in creating a sort of phobia, a memory phobia, during these situations, it's, it's very similar to a, a panic attack. If you have a panic attack on an elevator, you're more likely to have it a second time on an elevator. And after you have it a few times in an elevator, you kind of cement the elevator as being this uh, associated trigger with this phenomenon, right? So once you start having a few uh, moments where you do something silly, like put the milk in the cabinet, which was something I've done multiple times, you know, coming off Benzo. You know, I make a bowl of cereal, pour a glass of milk, I'd put it in the cabinet, walk off. And then, you know, later you'd see it and you'd go like, oh my God, you you dummy, what are you doing? Oh, my memory is damaged. See, this is this what I'm talking about. How am I going to work? How am I going to drive a car? How am I going to do anything? I can't even put the milk in the in the refrigerator after I've used it, you know? I can't have a conversation. How am I going to give a speech at work if I, if I just lose my words, you know? How can I have any meaningful conversation with anyone? I mean, you, and then you start cat catastrophizing, you know, you start going like, how am I going to have a friendship with anybody if I can't produce a, a sentence and a coherent thought? I mean, we, we really start bombing, I guess, from that point, you know, we just start, we, we just start seeing the worst outcomes imaginable on so many, uh, on so many levels. And, and again, I tell you this because it just adds to the overall mechanism of the situation, which is, look, the, the nature is you're going through withdrawal and stress, anxiety, and depression, and trauma, all these symptoms, benzo withdrawal, they impact memory, absolutely. So I guess the best thing I can uh, tell you to give you some peace of mind here is that this will pass, absolutely will pass. My memory came back. I no longer put milk in the cabinets. I no longer uh, just, uh, you know, forget where I'm going in a, in a sentence, you know, uh, maybe sometimes, you know, but I think that's pretty normal, right? Uh because, you know, my problem is I try to go off on the limb on different topics and, I'll, and then I, I'll just sort of forget to leave breadcrumbs and I don't know where I, where I was. <laughs> That's a whole other topic. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching and listening. Please click the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. And be sure to check out my book on Amazon, The Powers Manual, Benzo Guide to Recovery.